Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Fair by Me here on YouTube. I'm Melanie and you can follow me on my social media on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook with the same name, Fair by Me. You can check my website fairbyme.net and my uh, Etsy shop that is a Fair by Me on Etsy. I also invite you to join my Facebook group that is a Fair by Me group. <clears throat> so I'll up put all the links on the description box below so you can just click and hop over to my social media or my website or uh, check my Etsy shop <clears throat> I'm sorry guys <laughs> I just get home from work and um, just done with my lunch so <clears throat> we're going to start so this class series is for Cinco de Mayo because this Saturday we're going to celebrate Cinco de Mayo and um, <laughs> uh, my husband is uh, from Mexico. I'm from Indonesia, but my husband is from Mexico. I don't really have a lot of family in here besides my mom and my uh, sister and my brother. So uh, most of the time I um, <clears throat> uh, celebrate the Mexican celebration and uh, very familiar with it. And uh, besides that, my kids is half Mexican. So, <laughs> so, um, um i would like i like to decorate my house especially this year this is going to be the first time um i actually is going to decorate my house for uh, cinco de mayo because my kids is a little bit older so uh, they can uh, also enjoy it and they can participate in decorating the house and so we're gonna start um all the uh, material you need is everything is available at the dollar store so uh, go check your dollar store and put like a streamer um and then this a uh, skewer a uh, bamboo stick okay and then uh, you can also use the wires uh, wire one for the floral they have at the dollar store but I just like to use the bamboo uh, because they have like <laughs> in a dollar you get like plenty of them and then also this uh, what is this like a floral tape okay and you can also get it from uh, the dollar store like I said if all of the materials you can get it from the dollar store so we're gonna get one of these and we're going to use this one to wrap around our uh, stick <clears throat> all right and then next you're going to use a glue gun with the glue stick of course and don't forget to turn on your glue stick I do and so we're going to start we're going to create the flowers and I love creating flowers using the uh, paper crepe they just beautiful and the color is so vibrant so uh, that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna start with the uh, red and I actually need to get the green one probably tomorrow <laughs> um, I thought I still have the green one but uh, apparently I don't have it anymore so I'm gonna get one from the dollar store tomorrow and then so now we're going to use the red and I have the hot pink um, the yellow uh, white and orange right <clears throat> all the bright colors so um I think like 11 years ago I actually went to Mexico and um, I was fortunate enough to visit um, Oaxaca Oaxaca state in Mexico and I was falling in love with all the beautiful colors they have um, we went there I think in summer and it's so beautiful hi Debbie it's so beautiful and then like everywhere every corner you go there's like a wedding party so uh, people a lot of people on the street on the road and they're wearing all the beautiful vibrant color uh, which is a uh, very unique from Oaxaca and I see a lot of like yellow I see a lot of orange and, and red and also a lot of white and um hot pink it's it's just beautiful colors and so that's the color we're going to use and then also i um <laughs> i actually throw away i didn't think about uh, doing this but i i throw away my um uh, what is that corona bottle beer bottle so this one is i stole it from my husband <laughs> and then i like it because it's um imported from mexico so <clears throat> instead of using a, a 
flower face i just use this one we can recycle it or if you don't have that one you can actually use uh this one this is like a jelly jam uh jar so um I just use this one I can also use you can also use this one and just wrap it around with tissue paper or a streamer okay or crepe paper all right so we're going to start and this time I'm just gonna use this one okay so um you're going to use this one too to cut the skewer or if you want to use the uh, wire um, stick for the floral then uh, you still gonna need this one to cut your uh, wire right okay so hi Anita thank you for uh, joining my live class ladies um, feel free to put your comment and then when the class done uh, don't forget to put your comment on the, the comment section below so then I can count your name uh, into my uh, giveaway that I'm going to uh, draw by the end of May all right so we're gonna start we're gonna use the red one first I always love red color I don't know why <laughs> I think there's a lot of red like in 4th of July and then Cinco de Mayo, um, what else, Christmas, uh, Valentine, there's always um, a lot of red. So, <clears throat> alright, so I just, um, I don't really measure it, I just like see the length that I would like to um, um, what is it to use and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one um, make a scallop for my flower okay You can actually just fold it a couple times and make the scalp. <laughs> All right. Okay, so yeah, it's in Kodimbayo and I'm planning to cook some tacos, some tortadas de tinga and all the yummy fruit uh, oh, yummy fruit yummy food from uh, mexico and i thank my sister-in-law in las vegas for <laughs> for teaching me how to cook uh, tostadas de tinga so um we're gonna cook that one uh, this weekend all right <clears throat> so i have that the length that i like with the scallop okay and then what I'm going to do now I'm going to um, just put a little bit of glue in there okay. right. and then I'm gonna put the glue all around it Okay. All right, and then you just pinch it a little bit, okay, and just go all like that. And then you add more glue. So what I did, so you can see it right. Just make it like that, okay? So and there you go. So you pinch a little bit, and then you add more glue. Okay.
and then if you think that um, you want to make it a little bit bigger feel free to add more okay so just do it like that <clears throat> Okay, just be careful with your hands. You don't want to burn your hands with the hot glue. I think I will need more. Alright, I'm gonna put some glue in there. just like that okay so I'm going to add more length to it <clears throat> and then Now I'm just going to use one of these, I'm not going to double it anymore because I already get the enough, um, um, what is this, thickness for the uh, center part. Okay, let me put some glue down there. doing this I remember in high school <laughs> when we have to do um, flowers stuff like that craft project okay so this is just one way to create the a flower using a flower crepe after this I'm going to show you another way okay so stay tuned for that and some of the flower um, I'm going to use it for um, tomorrow tutorial as well okay so <clears throat> Hi, Miss Jacqueline. All right. I think this is enough. Let's see. If not, then we can just add it again later, right? So. <clears throat> Put it right over there. Now I'm going to start another layer. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some glue all around it. Okay. Then put that one in there. And then after that, you just add, keep adding more glue. And don't forget to pinch a little bit just to give some dimension to your flower. Okay.
right and then you just go all around like that So just be patient until you get the um the thickness of the flower you like. Okay. Alright, now I like the way it is and then now I'm just going to add the glue all around it. Okay. And you just open a little bit. All right. <clears throat> now I like the way it is now. And then we're just going to use the floral tape. Okay. Um, let me see. Cover with the tape. Let go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from there and then I'm just going to add some hot glue. <laughs> it is very easy Miss Jacqueline, so very very easy. Alright and then you Pull a little bit, make it a little bit, um, what is that, uh, straight it a little bit, alright? And now you just pull it down, just like that, make sure you pull a little bit, alright? Okay. And um, you can use this one to like uh, make um, centerpiece in your house or on your table. Um, you can, if you want to make it into shabby sheet, then just use like a soft pink with white. That will look awesome. Or with the pink with soft blue. Okay. All right, now the last part, and then what I'm going to do, I know this will stick, but I like to, because sometimes it's open, so I like to add a little bit glue. Make sure you want open. All right, so with that, look at that. Beautiful flower, right? And then you can just add it in there. Okay, now we're going to make another one and this one is going to be a diff uh, different type. We're still going to use the streamer. Okay, and so what we're going to do is um, on my thing, 
on my stick I'm going to use um, some of these okay so what I did I just put it put it right at the center you can also add some glue if you want to put it right over there squeeze it all right and right so what i'm trying to create right now is the center of the flower okay And then I'm going to put some glue in there and voila we have the center of the flower done all right so now this one I'm gonna cut it um let me see if I can find my ruler just so you guys uh, get an idea um, okay here is the ruler. <laughs> I could not find my real ruler. So the first one I'm going to cut it like about uh, two inches, okay? That long, okay? And then I'm going to make like five of them. I don't really make sure it just make sure it's <laughs> I just eyeball it and make sure it's kind of like the same length right three four five all right and the next one is um, two and a half okay that long this one is going to be five too so what i'm going to do i'm just gonna make it like that about three four and then five right just cut it cut it and that's it <coughs> And the third one is going to be three inches. Right? And you make five of them as well. So two, three, four, and five. And then we're just gonna do that one for now. Okay? Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Anita. Yes, that's totally true, Miss ja uh, Jacqueline. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do the smaller one first. All right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold this into half. All right. And then I'm going to cut it. like that okay and they will look like a uh, leaves okay just like that um i'm going to do the same thing with this one okay
there you go and this one as well right this one is like that all right we have that one then now we're just gonna put them together we start with the small one so what i'm going to do i'm just gonna wrap it around it and i just put the glue right And then do the same thing. Okay. I love crepe paper or streamer. <laughs> There's so many things you can create using this, especially flowers. I love it. Um, like that one, and then so we're just gonna do all around it. Okay, it's going to be like that, and then one more. Just like that. All right. <clears throat> now we're gonna do on the uh, two and a half. Okay. So I'm just gonna put the glue around it. Okay. And then if you want to make it a little bit, maybe a little bit um, sharp, let's just cut it like that. There you go. Okay, now we go layer it again. This one too, I want to make it a little bit sharp, so cut it right over there and then we just add another layer. Right and okay, one more in here. Now we're gonna go on the wrong one. And we're gonna put the glue all around it. <clears throat> Okay. 
Okay. Just like that. Hi, Aristi. Thank you, Aristi. Then this one, right? It looks like we're gonna need like two more. So let's move this a little bit. <clears throat> that one. Okay, so two is going to be three one. Let's make three more. So for the three one, uh, three inches one, you might want to make eight or seven, probably seven. I like to make it, uh, if I try, I start it with odd, I try to make it odd, all of them. And we'll see. Alright. Okay. So, I'm going to add, okay, glue in there. One is that. Let's see that. one like that yeah so I think seven will work good okay and then this one you can actually make it a little bit like that so what I'm going to do I'm going to add a little bit of glue in there, just like that. That one too. Okay. A little bit. Okay. And this one too. All right. So that's that one. And then we're just going to use the tape floral. Okay. That one. And I'm going to start from there. So I'm going to use some of the glue to stick my floral tape. Right. 
and then I just go down like that. Okay, and then at the bottom, I'm going to add some um, hot glue. Just like that. All right, so we have two flowers. All right, and then I'm just gonna put it in here. Right, just like that. How about if we make another flower? This time I think I'm going to use my pink, my hot pink. Right. <clears throat> and for this, we're gonna do different flower. Right. There we go. <clears throat> right. So I'm going to um, cover this part again with a flower tape. Right. So just put the glue in there. The flower tape. Okay. that's enough so I'm going to put some glue over there there you go and then okay, let me add some more glue stick <clears throat> okay so what we're gonna do with this we're gonna create different um what is that different a rose flower okay okay so I'm going to put that like that all right <clears throat> going to put glue in there glue in there and I make tri triangle like that all right Then I'm gonna put the glue right over there. Okay, and this one I'm going to put the glue. Okay, so I'm going to put the glue right behind it. All right, just like that. Okay, and then now I'm just gonna roll it. Okay, roll it like that. Okay. This is just like if you make it with the a ribbon. Okay. Just like that. <clears throat> I'm going to put the glue a little bit in there. Yes, yeah, so you guys can get uh, plenty of flower with <laughs> with just one class. You learn like three different style of making the flower. Okay, and like I said, some of the flower technique of the flower in here, I'm going to add it to my um, flower uh, on my next project. 
tomorrow class okay and then um like i uh, announced in my uh, facebook that i joined the um, blog hub that um was um created by Sa sandy and um i'm going to post the rule today so what you need to do is pretty simple um, because this is a blog hub so um, my on my class on Wednesday it's not a live class so it's a pre-recorded class but um, and I'm going to put it in my blog all right and on YouTube too so what you need to do is I want you to go to my blog and watch my video my class and then after you watch my class i want you to hop to um the uh, people who participate in the blog and i believe sandy already uh put it in the facebook group as well but if not i will um uh, post it in then and I also is gonna post it in my uh, blog so um, you guys can just click it when you go to my blog you can just uh, click it and um, read the box okay and then make sure you um, put comment on each blog that uh, participate in the blog hall and then I'm going to choose so I think each block is going to choose who is the winner from each block and then um, I'm going to announce the winner and the winner is going to receive the the project that I created for that blog hop hop blog. <laughs> I'm sorry guys <laughs> and then you will receive the project I created for that class and also you're gonna get some goodies from my uh, store Etsy store all right so I hope you can join in and have fun I'm sure uh, the other um, blog also create a beautiful project so it's another inspiration for you guys right okay then i'm gonna cut it in here so <laughs> it's easy for me to um to un <laughs> untangle it yeah it's really easy to make this flower it just you have to untangle it <laughs> or you have to cut it first before you uh, make the roll so <clears throat> it's easy for you to untangle it all right so just like that it's super easy right and you just go around and around Okay, and don't worry about the glue I usually just leave it the way it is now and when I'm done then I will <laughs> I will put the glue okay you can just put the glue as you roll it around okay Okay, we're almost done in here. 
let me know if I'm out of the camera. Okay, let me. Mm. Okay. Hey. Okay. See, I like it the way it is now. It's big enough. I'm going to cut it right over there. Okay. And then just roll it one more time. And then the last one is I just fold it like that. Okay. And then I'm going to put the glue over there. So what I'm going to do now. I'm going to start putting the glue all around the flower, okay, just like that. Right. And I just see which one need more glue. I just stick it like that. Okay. Now I need more glue. Alright, so um, that's it and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the floral tape right. <clears throat> and just add the glue in there. Tape just like that. Okay. Put a little bit glue in there before I go down. All right. Then we just cover the stick with the floral tape. And then after that we're done, unless you guys want to uh, make your own flower, you can make a lot of flower just by uh, using these three different techniques of how to make a paper clip flower, okay? So I hope this tutorial can inspire you so you can um, start decorating your house for Cinco de Mayo or you know what, this can be for any... Um, flower centerpiece you want for different occasion so. right right at the bottom just like that voila so we have three different flowers and later on i'm gonna add more for my tomorrow project so <clears throat> we have three. <laughs> oh, thank you miss jacqueline yeah so here is one of them this one another one and the roses one and i can definitely put it on my um beer bottle okay 
just like that. Okay. Just like that. Okay, and I use this one, a uh, beer bottle, recycling it and make it my, um, what is that, Cinco de Mayo uh, flower face. Fast. <laughs> Not face, fast. All right, so um, that is uh, some easy flower that you can create really quick at home and with a really cheap material that you can get from the dollar store or you can get it from party city i think one roll of this at party city is 99 cent um and at the dollar store i think two rolls for uh, a dollar and i got this one from dollar store this one i get it from the craft store but you can also get this one from the dollar store as well as the sewer um stick or you can use the floral uh wire as well and uh the hot glue and the hot glue gun so oh thank you aristi <laughs> we have to turn it off oh thank you miss jacqueline yes i will put the um the rule on the in the group flare, flare by me group tonight as well as on my page and a flare by me page so you guys uh, can see the rule and how to participate in this blog hop um, and then thank you everyone for joining me in today and thank you for your um wonderful live chat <laughs> don't forget to put your uh, comment on the description below i mean on the comment box below so i can count also your name for my uh, youtube giveaway so um so stay tuned and tomorrow we're gonna have another cinco de mayo project and um i hope i can see you all <laughs> the purple one <laughs> and then i hope i can see you all uh in my next class live class and i hope you all have a wonderful night and i'll talk to you soon bye bye